Hello everybody and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's been a while, it's been about 8 days I think since the previous episode. So I'm returning today with the continuation of the series. It's a series which is long running and doesn't really end, it doesn't really have a title either, it doesn't have a name. It's just Euro Truck Simulator 2 doing different things and in this segment of the series what we're going to do is try and achieve the goal of buying another garage, buying another truck and employing a worker. This is something I've never done before, which might be hard to believe. Some people will probably post down below saying, what, you, ETS 2's been out since 2012 and you've never even had a worker. Well, the fact of the matter is, yes, I have never had a worker. <laughs> it's that simple. In fact, I don't think I've even had a second lorry. I've always stuck with the same one. So here we are. Today is the day we're going to start to achieve the goal. Uh, if we can, well, we actually need to drive to a different location as well because I need to be able to buy another garage. We can actually upgrade the same one, but I wouldn't really want to. There we go. I was looking for the mirror. Yeah, so if we can drive to the UK, ideally, we can then get another garage all set up. It's going to be expensive, and so is another lorry, but that's just the way of the world. Things do cost money. So, uh, yes, I think really... If we can just do a heavy transport um, load and also a standard load, which I'm doing at the moment, it's just seven miles, um, then today we should be able to make a fair bit of money and also acquire some uh, experience points as well. Come on, it's clear to go. It was clear to go. Come on, fool. Now you've made me pull out in front of a car. Hmm. The AI does need to be improved. There is just one more mile to go until we can drop off the very first load. I'm going straight on here. Following the tanker. And then we are taking a left turn. And a right turn. And our destination should be up here on the left hand side. Um, yeah, it must be somewhere up here. Here it is. Okay, we'll see where they want us to put the trailer. And then we can park it up. They want us to put it over the far side. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to do that, you wouldn't have thought. Uh, if I just... Oh, there should be space in the yard to turn around. That trailer being so close might make it a bit tricky, but I'll give it a go. Actually, if it was a left-hand side vehicle, it would be easier, just for this situation. But it isn't, so we're going to have to live with it. Uh, so if I straighten up there, then we'll try, I'll try and do this. Uh, yeah, good start. I think I'm a bit close. Yeah, I'm sort of brushing against the other trailer. That didn't go too well. That will do. Right, that was just a very quick bit of money, hopefully. Unless I damaged it. No, I didn't. Good. It was a glancing blow. Okay, so this time what I'd like to do is, well, it might be a quick job, it might be a freight market job, I'm not too sure at this stage, um, but I would like to do one of these special transports. If we can just take a look on the uh, quick job menu. There should be many more. Okay, there's not too many. I might have to sleep, but there's a few. Uh, yeah, I'll go and try and sleep if I can do and see if I can bring up any more we could do with repairing too. If we go to the repair shop and we can uh, fix things up. I think most of the damage, well most of the, the wear is the tyres but I have crashed into a few road signs recently. Yes, I admit it, I have done. I, I've hit some signs. But still, uh, yeah, it's minor damage. Uh, 
Always a red light. Okay, change. Change. Thank you. Right, off we go. Mm, I think... Oh, it's always turning to red. Yeah, it's right at the end of here. I'm sure if you are a driver in real life, you will have experienced it many times before. But when you've got loads of traffic lights and uh, every time you get to each one, they turn red on you. Your timing couldn't have been worse. It's so frustrating. Right, so it's a Renault dealership here. Pull in, we'll repair and then we'll sleep. We'll spend our time here. Right, servicing. So most of the damage is, well, the wheels, 9%, but then, yeah, the cabin. That'll be when I crashed into the road signs. £5,839. Super expensive. Uh, I suppose it depends what it was I damaged. Anything to upgrade? I don't think there is, because it's the strobe light I want to do, but level 18, at least, until I can do that. So, yeah, I'm fairly happy with the lorry, actually. You can see it's a very nice lorry. Uh, everybody else is here too. Well, they've all reversed in, so I will too. I don't want to be the odd one out. Oh, it does say I'm not actually uh, tired though. How could I not be tired? I've slept too much. That's my problem. In that case, uh, we're going to have to... Yeah, I should have stayed in the parking place. We're going to have to do a quick job. And it's not going to be the one I was hoping to do. But not to worry. We might be able to do it afterwards if it's a quick enough job. Alright. Job market, quick job. And we'll try and do one which is fairly short. So that's 89 miles. Um, it's 132, it's 132. Okay, so it is going to be this one here. The industrial condenser with the Scania. We'll take the job, we'll do it really quickly, try and get some money in. It is a £5,796 job, uh, so we might get the money back for what we've just spent on repairing our current truck. That's it, all looking good, thank you, off we go. I do want this to go fairly quickly, because yeah, I would love to do uh, the other job as well. So I might have to time up a fair chunk of this. I've not done this one before though, I'm fairly sure I haven't anyway. Blimey, that is a big thing. Police cars are parked in an unusual spot again. But this should be fairly simple. Just keep following the escort vehicle. We want to eat these miles up. But I think, looking at it, it's going to be a fairly simple job. The roads seem fairly wide, and, well, there's not too much traffic about. Should be an easy job for us. Anyway, enough of me talking, let's try and get this job done quickly.
And here we are. The first special transport done today. And I don't think there was any damage. There shouldn't have been. So we'll uh, accept the job. Well, we'll take the job. Finish the job. Whatever. <laughs> and there we go. Looking good. So yeah, we've uh, managed to acquire a few more experience points and some more money. Now, as for this one I would like to do, which I haven't mentioned yet, um, let's just see if it's here. Huge tyres. Hmm. Not yet. It, uh, it hasn't appeared yet. So uh, bear with me. Okay, here it is. So you have to sleep a few times for it to actually enable in the game. But it is the wind turbine blade. And actually there's various pieces of the wind turbine that you can transport. Now this is from the Steam Workshop. It's not from the DLC or anything, although you do need the DLC to actually use it. I'm going to put all of the credits and all the links you require if you want to use this mod down below. The official genuine link. In fact, basically as far as I can tell, if it's not the Steam link, it's not official. So yeah, get off the Steam Workshop and you'll be fine. Now I'm very interested to see this. It has very good reviews and ratings on Steam. Some pieces are heavier, some pieces are bigger. Um, this is just obviously one section of the wind turbine. So let's begin. Pretty huge, absolutely gigantic. The only uh, disadvantage with this is it is the same route, but you've just seen it time lapsed, so now we can do it in real time. With a different load, obviously, which just makes a huge difference anyway. Uh, 34 tons. Sounds heavy enough to me, although, yeah, you can get much heavier. I think the biggest thing about this is it's very long, it's an incredibly long load. It's also worth more money as well, this delivery. Ooh, what are they doing? Very proud people. It's even got a beacon on the side of it. But yeah, I can't really concentrate from the uh, third person view. So we'll stick with the first person. The good thing is, it's uh, midday, so there's plenty of sunshine, the entire journey should, should very easily be uh, during the day. The only thing about this journey is most of it is 37 miles per hour. But we don't really want to be racing around anyway, we don't want to be uh, zooming around the bends, flipping over and losing the load. I'll have to try and do the entire mod, all the different sections of the wind turbine. I think this is one of the lighter pieces. It's just the blade, it's just a blade. Many blades obviously required. But one blade, 34 tons. It is incredible really because when you see a wind turbine, it doesn't look, well it looks big, but it doesn't look huge. Um, okay, maybe it does. But when you actually see the scale of things, when it's on a lorry, or when it's um, being manufactured, that's when you really get a sense of scale. They're much bigger than they look, even though they do look huge. Unless it's just me that thinks that. Maybe everybody already knew they were super heavy things and just a single blade weighs 34 tons. Who knows? Maybe it's just me. But yes, it's just my just my idea. <laughs> right, uh, so well, focus on the road, Dagawin. Don't look away. I was trying to look around, see if there was any uh, points of interest, but it would not be a white... Oh, there's a tractor. Oh, a tractor. But yeah, we can't be doing that because I will crash. I think it was a Deutzfahr. What's this massive skid mark? Is that like a guide so we can follow it, so we don't crash into anything? Although, yeah, that, that does not look like the right way to go. We do not want to be going on the other side of the road. It's a seriously big skid. Right, better put the uh, 
sat-nav backup, even though we don't actually need it at all, because we're always following somebody. But at least we can see how many miles we have left. Again, with this load, unlike the previous load, we don't actually have to really pull over, um, because it is a really narrow load. Well, it's still wider than the uh, trailer itself, but it is much narrower, from what I can tell, than uh, the previous load. Oh yeah, there was a train line somewhere up here. It really caught me off guard because I thought it was going to be fairly flat, but it turned out to be really bumpy. It probably didn't really show up as much in the video, in a time lapse, but yeah, surprising. It's because the escort vehicle in front, that went over the, the uh, level crossing. It's about, well, it must have been in 37, which isn't that fast, but 37 with a big heavy load on um, over a really bumpy piece of track. You certainly feel it. How much wider is it then than the trailer? It sticks out on one side. That side, we could. Act In fact, yes, we could. We could really keep close to the edge on this side. Then we don't even have to go over the white line. I probably shouldn't go over the white line anyway. There's not really much need to. 46 miles left. We have pretty much, in fact we have, we're halfway. We've done 50% of the journey. I do like the uh, special transport loads a lot. I think they're, they're really fun to do. And there can be some seriously good money, it's especially if you're using your own machine, your own truck. But, yeah, obviously I'm not doing because I'm wanting to do um, them today and I'd have to actually drive to the destination where these ones are available and we're actually a long way from any of them from what I can gather certainly from this one one thing which I've never done is I've not transported the train and I don't know if the train is actually standard in the DLC I thought it was but I've never actually seen it maybe you have to be in a certain place or maybe you have to unlock a certain level well I'm sure somebody will tell me that is the joy of me mentioning stuff in a video there's always somebody who's going to know they'll always post down below which is really good really do appreciate it alright getting a bit carried away here with the speed can't be too fast combine with those huge bales bales the size of tractors Ah, here is the train line. You watch the speed. The escort vehicle goes over it. It'll be doing 37. Easily. Yeah, much better at that speed. This is actually a really short load to do. You get it done in no time at all. Oh, we're back in a daff. I only just realised. Unless I mentioned it at the beginning. Not sure. I was more uh, preoccupied looking at the uh, the wind turbine blade. But I like DAF. I think they're nice machines. They're nice lorries. I keep calling them machines. I'm so used to tractors. Yeah, I should probably just call them a lorry of a truck. Although, yeah, they are machines. Right, this is where we have to play the waiting game. And we have to turn. Here it comes, waiting for the rear escort. Alright, for the final 15 miles of the journey, it should be fairly plain sailing. And 15 miles in this game is probably about a minute. So 
so that might be all three loads done today without any damage at all. It's a rare occasion, we should celebrate somehow. Hmm, nothing really to celebrate with. I suppose we could do some handbrake turns with our lorry. Oh yes. Although no, let's, let's just not. Let's, let's forget the celebrating. Let's just take the money and run. And this is where we were before. At the end of the previous load. The good thing about these deliveries, these special transport ones, is it's so simple to park the trailers. You just drive into an open space. Dead easy. I wonder if they'll ever make it more challenging where you actually have to reverse it as well, because that really would be tough. That would take some skill. Oh, look what they're waiting for us. The caravanist. Thank you, caravanning people. And here we go, the conclusion of today's video. And the conclusion is I've stopped too early. I've still stopped too early. Right, okay, done. So yeah, we've gained another 6,006 euros and some more experience points. So, there we go. And yeah, like I said at the beginning of the, uh, the job, if you want to download that mod and use it yourself, I'll put the link below. And uh, yeah, please do uh, support the modder. I think it actually does have five stars, five out of five. I can see why. It's a, a nice change from the other stuff. Anyway, yep, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.